The CB-19 Jalner is a recent 120mm self-propelled mortar system. It was developed in Sweden by BAE Systems Haglands. It integrated a new Jalner turret with two 120mm mortars on a chassis of the CB-90 infantry fighting vehicle. In the northern mythology Jalner is the hammer of the god Thor, one of the most fearsome weapons capable of leveling mountains. This combination of a Jalner turret on the CB-90 chassis was adopted by the Swedish military. Production contract for 40 artillery systems was signed in 2016. Deliveries to the Swedish military commenced in 2019 and were planned to be completed in 2020. Its Swedish designation is the Granite Kastar Panzar Band Van 90 or GRKPBD 90. These will be used in mechanized battalions to increase indirect fire support. More than a decade ago BAE Systems Haglands developed another Amos mortar system with two 120mm breech-loaded mortars. It was a new generation weapon designed for rapid rate of fire. Swedish military ordered two Amos systems on the CV-90 chassis, though there were no further orders. The Mjolnir is another attempt to create a close support weapon with a rapid rate of fire, though it has a more simple design and is overall a less complicated weapon. As with the Amos turret, the Mjolnir turret can be integrated on other suitable wheeled or tracked armored vehicle. The Mjolnir turret uses two 120mm muzzle-loaded mortars. Mortars are loaded using a mechanical system. Though loading is only partially automated and involves manual labor. Still though the loader operates under armor protection. Maximum rate of fire is a whooping 16 rounds per minute. Rate of sustained fire is 6 rounds per minute. This mortar system is compatible with all standard 120mm mortar ammunition as well as smart guided ammunition including the Swedish Strix precision guided munitions. Standard shells have a maximum range of up to 9 kilometers. This system can also use extended range shells that give a maximum range of 13 kilometers. The Strix guided munitions have a range of 5 kilometers. A total of 104 mortar shells can be stored inside the vehicle. A total of 56 shells are stored in the turret bustle. Another 48 shells can be stored inside the hull. Mortars can be elevated to plus 85 degrees, though it seems that the turret traverse is limited to 60 degrees. In its basic form the Mjolnir turret provides protection only against 7.62 by 39 mm armor-piercing rounds and artillery shell splinter, though it was designed to accept add-on armor kit for a higher level of protection. Enhanced protection is proposed as an option. The turret weight ranges from 6 to 8.1 t, depending on protection level. The hull is of welded steel armor construction. It is claimed that front of the turret withstands hits from 30 mm armor-piercing rounds, used by the older Russian IFVs and ACVs. All-round protection of the hull is against 14 5mm armor-piercing rounds. Vehicle withstand mine blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Furthermore add-on ceramic armor kit can be fitted for the hull for all-round protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds. It also further improves protection against blasts and improvised explosive devices. Interior of the CV-90 is lined with Kevlar liner to prevent spalling. This artillery system has brief reaction and redeployment times. It takes less than two minutes to open fire and less than one minute to leave the firing position. Brief reaction and redeployment times become extremely important in modern combat where artillery radars and counter batteries are widely used. A demonstrator of the CV-19 Jalner carried no defensive weapons, though a roof-mounted machine gun or remotely controlled weapon station can be fitted. This fire support vehicle is operated by a crew of three including commander, loader and driver. The CB-90 is powered by a Scania DS-14 diesel engine, developing 550 horsepower. It seems that with some preparation this armored vehicle is amphibious. 